Hi there Elements users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This is on the Composite Line Drawings page, which is a tutorial that was written by Terry over there in the UK. One part of his tutorial was so cool, so neat, that I had to make a video of it. And that's how to turn a video or an image like this into a line drawing. Now I've got some line drawing um, pages and videos on my site but none of them are as cool and as neat and as effective as this method and this one is fast it's amazing I am uh, you know I am in awe of his prowess okay so this is how you do it first of all I want to tune this up a bit it's kinda eh, needs a bit of work so I'm just gonna do a quick levels on it I'm gonna brighten it up just a little bit with the, the highlight slider there with levels and layer flatten image. So now it's a bit brighter now. Okay, the way you do this is you go to the filter menu, down to blur, now to smart blur. And unfortunately there's no preview button to check on here. Uh, it'd be great if there's a preview jump button. Now if I go here to quality and I change that to high and mode to edge only all of a sudden we start getting this. It looks like a snowstorm, doesn't it? A black plane flying through a snowstorm. But if I move this up, now I'm getting some better stuff. And if I move this one up, voila, look at that. It's starting to look like a line drawing of white on black. And let's just say OK and see how it looks. It looks pretty good. Now you can see I got a whole bunch of little black spots here. Uh, the way you'd fix those up if you didn't get rid of them correctly is to grab the brush tool, make your foreground color black, and just go through and paint them away. Because anything you leave is a is a white spot or a black spot is going to turn into a, a colored spot at some point when you do your line drawing or your your toning. The second part of this is how to tone this and toning is really just adding a different color than the one that's already there um, so I'm just zipping around here with my Wacom pen and getting rid of all these little ugly rogue dots that shouldn't be there. There, that's better now. Okay, so I've got this. It's a very effective white on black. If I hit Control or Command I, it becomes a very effective black on white. Okay, now the second step of Terry's tutorial is to now tone this actually to tone three images and then put them together as a composite, drag them around, make them look kind of cool. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do one part of it and I'm going to show you how to do it with my method of toning which is the gradient map. His was to use a variations in the enhance color menu. So let's go here to the adjustment layers icon, click there and you're going to choose gradient map. Not this one, and not this one over here. You're going to choose gradient map. This is one of the least known and coolest gradient or uh, adjustment layers you can find. It really is amazing. So we're just going to tap on that with my pen and you can see nothing has changed. I'm going to hit dither to prevent banding and if I hit reverse we get it. It just does that. So we're just going to leave that. Now this is the gradient that's been applied. It's a black to white gradient if I click on the gradient now I have the gradient editor and I can choose different gradients this is a what is that one called red to green I guess yeah red green and this one is violet orange uh, you can see there's all kinds of them here and if you go up here to the more button and drop that down you got all these special effects and simple and you know just just so many um, it's it's and they're bizarre uh, I think we'll just stick with the default black to white, okay? Now, you could you could modify this. If I tap here, I get a midpoint. Now, in this situation, if I move this midpoint, it's not going to change anything uh, because this is a line drawing. But if I tap on here, now the color, the black color, can be changed to a different one. So now black is going to be blue or 
pinky something or other or kind of a turquoisey color or green or yellow or orangey red whatever and you can move it all around in here to get it exactly where you want it if you know the colors you want to use you can type them in here or you can type them in there so I think we're going to go with a blue a dark blue that's kind of nice okay so we'll take that one say okay so that's kind of cool now the other end is the white end if I tap here now the color white can be mapped to something else so I can make the background green or a different blue or I can make it just a kind of off blue there drag it over a bit make it a gray background whatever I want it to be I can change it so that's how you do toning but I think we're just going to use the white and current is uh, the, the white one okay so there you go and there you go and if we want to change this around we just hit there and now we've got that now I like the white on the dark but you know that's just my uh, um, what I like you may like something different anyways that's how you do it that's how you make a line drawing and how you tone it with a gradient map um, it's Terry's tutorial and it's amazing it's an amazing line drawing and play with it have some fun uh, come visit the site it's the uh, composite line drawings page um, it's on my site and you can see here's the link for it right there and uh, hey, it's really cool I think you'll like it so thanks for watching appreciate it and uh, if you have any questions or comments certainly be sure to ask them and we'll be sure to answer them okay so take care and thanks for your time